In this video we will draw two doors and turn them into dynamic blocks. In AutoCAD, first of all we will create a new layer and call it Doors. I'm just putting my initials in front of that. For the colour we will choose yellow and for the line weight 0 0.13 and make sure that the layer is current and then close the layer properties manager. Now in your drawing there will be two outside doors here and here that are 1022.5 wide so we'll draw those doors first of all. So the door is comprised of two frames, a door and the actual swing. First of all draw a rectangle and we'll make that 100 by 50. Just drawing it outside the building for now. And we'll draw a temporary line and offset that by 1022.5. And we'll just move that to this position for now. It will fit the door. And we'll copy the other frame over like so. And the next thing then to do is to draw a circle. So we'll draw a circle from this inside corner to the other inside corner. And then the next thing is we can draw a line from that midpoint again out and beyond the circle. And we'll offset that by 40 millimeters, which is the thickness of the door. And then the next thing to do is draw a rectangle from that second line, the end point of that second line, to the point where the first line intersects with the circle. Now if you zoom in that will show that the door actually goes outside the arc slightly. That's okay, we want that to happen. And just at this point we can trim accurately so let's choose trim tool and then the two items that we want to trim with which is that frame and this line and then we can trim off three quarters of the circle and that leaves the arc behind. So we can now delete those temporary lines and we can also delete those temporary lines. So that door will now fit that opening. Now we can turn those four items into a block by selecting them and then clicking on create block and we'll call this dynamic door and the base point we want to specify that on the screen sorry we want to pick point and so we can click on the midpoint of the frame there and the four objects have already been selected we want it to convert it to block so click OK so those four items are now a block if we select it and then right click we can go to block editor and this will then allow us to add some parameters and actions to the block so you can see the four items in this area and firstly we want to choose the flip tool so click on the flip tool and for the base point let's just draw a line from the end point of the door to the opposite side of the frame. That's like a, a mirror point as such. And then we can set the label down. Uh, next select it and go to properties and change the flip name to flip in out. So we're going to rotate or flip the door backwards and forwards in this direction which is why we're saying in and out. And then the action, 
click on the action tab and choose the flip action it will ask you to select the parameter which is the one we have just inserted so click there and the objects that we want to flip are just the door and the door swing the frame will stay in the same place so hit return and that should apply that action to those two items secondly then go back to the parameters tab and choose the flip tool once again and this time we want to flip in the other direction so for the base point we need a line that is in the middle of the door but going the other direction so if we hold shift and right click and choose mid between two points once again we can click well let's be accurate we need to click here on one side of the frame and the opposite side of the frame and we still need to draw a line in the other direction you need to ensure that your polar tracking is on which it wasn't in my case so now it's on we can click and we can set that label down just there and once again we'll rename that and call it flip left right so with the parameter still selected we can click on flip select the parameter again and the objects select the door plus the arc and hit return so that should be all we need to do at this stage so if we close the block editor and if we ensure we save the changes we can now check whether those dynamic actions work or not so the door flips in and out and left and right so now that door can be moved and put in place in the opening and we can obviously copy that up to the other opening or indeed any other openings that, that may be in your building and that will allow you to flip the door any direction that you need process then with the other door at 9 10 is the same except obviously your door size needs to be different so let's just do that quickly uh, we'll take this example here we'll draw a frame 50 by 100 and this time we'll actually put the frame in the opening and we can copy that over to the other side once again draw a circle from one midpoint of the frame to the midpoint on the other and then draw a line from the middle of one frame up and offset that by 40 that allows us again to draw a rectangle from the second line to where the first line intersects the circle and before we delete those lines again we need to trim using that line and the frame to trim off three quarters of the circle then we can delete the temporary lines so once again we need to select the four items and this time when we create the block we'll call that 910 door because that's the size of the opening and base point will specify that on screen again the midpoint of the frame there click OK and so now we can select the block and right click and go to block editor once again in block editor then we can choose the flip parameter for the base point again across in this direction and we'll call it flip in out it's just useful to name these in case you get one of them wrong and then you need to amend something later and we'll go ahead just and put the, the other flip parameter in at this time too so shift and right click 
mid between two points and we'll choose the two opposing corners where the frame is and draw the mirror or the line, flip line that direction and just put the label up there again we'll rename that flip left right so now we can go to the actions tab and with the flip tool we can choose the flip in out parameter and select the door plus the frame and apply that and then we can put in another flip action select the left right parameter and choose the two items again and then close the block editor close the block editor and save the changes and once again just check that everything works sometimes when you move it uh, it may stop working and just when I notice the door there it's in front of the wall you can actually select that right click and go to draw order and send it to the back just to ensure the, the structural openings are there so that will allow you to copy those blocks around and fill in all the doors Once the doors are inserted and rotated correctly, your drawing should look like this.